Hey, Tyler, I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. Honestly, she was not well, man. I've never seen her like that. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it. And you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Well, I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Uh, where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Got everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. So did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? Some of them were straight up awesome, but we just weren't that close, you know? None of them really got, like, family? I mean, I guess I got pretty tight with my counselor, Aaron, but I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches and... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel them in. Come on, pull up on the rod. Reel them in. Now give it a nice pull. I got it. I got it. Mm. Slippery little. Got it. <laughs> Bravo. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long.
Uh, not now. With the way things are, I'd rather not make any promises. No problem. I, I can be flexible, so just let me know if that changes. I should have said this earlier, but thanks for doing all this. Don't mention it. Besides, I wanted to see if all this talk of yours was just that. Your verdict? You're doing pretty well, but don't let it go to your head. Still plenty of time for Ego to get the best of you. Yes, sir. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez, you don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier, I'm a very serious man. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, <laughs> nice job. So, you weren't all talk. Impressed? I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. So, do you always drive around with an auger in your car? It's not how it looks, okay, I swear. I was already planning on going ice fishing with the family this weekend. I made a mistake of forgetting the auger one, so we had nothing on hand but an ice chisel. That'll scar a man for life. <laughs> Fair enough. So you gonna tell me what's in the cooler, or what? I could tell you. Or I could watch you squirm a bit longer. Ugh. You're a terrible person, you know that? <laughs> you betcha. So, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out, we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. Can you blame her? Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her and start fresh. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live out here. You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. And you can lean on me too if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Don't you say anything. I got this.
Whoa, bam, three out of three. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing, that was clean. Huh, I'm a little disappointed. Can I ask you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that, that is a hard question. <laughs> Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. <laughs> Hard to argue with that. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth a chance. Don't you? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. Because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. Hey, you're missing the show. Careful now. You look like you might be enjoying yourself. <laughs> it's an act. But seriously, thanks, man. This is exactly what I needed. <sighs> Almost. It's just missing one tiny thing. Ben Chip, you read my mind. You know Allison refuses to eat anything cold in the winter? It's her loss. From now on, you've got someone to call if you want to fish or slam a pint of Ben and Jerry's in the snow. Uh, small fry. 